I'm making courgette and mozzarella piadina, a seriously grown-up toasted sandwich of delicious soft flatbread, grilled courgettes, melting mozzarella and fragrant basil, all inspired by the traditional and famous street food of Italy's Emilia-Romana region. So to kick off with the courgettes, I'm just going to cut these into long slices. You want to go fairly thin. So just lay out these courgette slices on a baking tray and then use some spray olive oil. Just enough so they're going to colour under the grill. A little bit of seasoning over the top. A little bit of pepper and then just give them a bit of a mix up so they get an even coating of all of the oil and salt and pepper. I've got my grill preheated really high and just a few minutes on each side until they're golden brown. And they're ready to turn. While the courgettes are grilling, I'm going to make a dressing. So some red chilli. Just take the seeds and the membrane out, just to reduce that heat a little bit. And then finely slice. And courgettes and chilli are just a match made in heaven. They go really, really well together. And then next up, some lemon zest. and then a bit of garlic. Now you could use a garlic crusher, but I find one of these fine graters works really well. And then just for a little bit of sharpness, about a teaspoon of red wine vinegar, and a pinch of salt, and a little bit of pepper. And then just set that dressing aside, ready for the courgettes. So that's what you're looking for. Just starting to get crispy around the edges, and nice and golden brown. Sit this straight into the dressing. Add an extra little bit of olive oil and make sure you really work all that chilli, lemon zest and garlic all over the courgettes. And because they're hot, what will happen is as they cool slightly, they're going to suck up all that dressing and all of that extra flavour. And next up, the dough. So I've got some self-raising flour and some water and then a good pinch of salt as well. And then just work that in with a fork. It may seem like a bit of a hassle to be making your own bread for a sandwich, but it really is easy. There's no yeast involved, there's no rising involved. It's really, really quick and simple. But just work that dough, and it should start to clean the edge of the bowl as well, and you know it's kind of coming together as a dough. Flour your work surface, and then cut your dough into two equal pieces. And then just roll the dough just to start to shape the flatbread and you want to roll it to a circle about 18 centimetres in diameter. And just a tip, if you're rolling out a circle, keep rotating the dough, and then you'll keep a perfect circle. Once your disc of dough is ready, I'm just going to take a frying pan and set it over a medium to high heat. Just give the pan a little spray with oil, and then lay the bread in. Just spray the top as well. And then that just needs to cook for about two to three minutes on each side, but keep checking, and it should start to turn sort of golden brown. Lovely, that's exactly what you're looking for. Take a sharp bread knife, and you want to cut it evenly through the middle, and just work your way around and open it up. So then to fill the piadina, take some of these lovely courgettes, and then scatter over some of the chilli and then some mozzarella. And just tear the mozzarella into chunks. And then basil on top just for a bit of freshness. So once you've got your pierre dinner filled, pop it into the frying pan, set over a medium to high heat. And then here's the trick. Put another frying pan on top and that's gonna weigh the sandwich down, keep all the filling together and make the bottom really, really crisp. Give it about three or four minutes and turn it over put the frying pan back on top and give it another three or four minutes until that cheese is oozing out. And don't hang around. That is what you're looking for. It smells incredible. Absolutely perfect on its own or ideal with a nice little tomato and onion salad. And there you have it. Courgette and mozzarella piadina.